Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2021 drama thriller Pig. A film that is co-written and directed by Michael Sarnoski and it stars Nicolas Cage, Alex Wolfe and Adam Arkin. And essentially focuses on Nicolas Cage's character who is a recluse that lives um, alone in the uh, Oregon wilderness. He is a truffle hunter. He has a beloved pig with him uh, that helps him hunt for truffles, which he then sells to um, a local that buys them to sell them to all the you know major restaurants in Oregon. This one night, um, he is set upon by some hooligans that steal and kidnap his beloved pig. He wakes up and decides he's just not going to stand for that and heads into the city to f track down those that have stolen his pig from him. Right, what are my thoughts on Pig? Well, as usual in the UK, we've had to wait a little bit to see this film. It's been out um, a number of weeks across most territories. Um, and it's a film I've been really looking forward to. I'm a big, big fan of Nicolas Cage. Um, he's, he's experiencing a little bit of a renaissance over these last couple of years. He's popped up in quite a few respected films with things like Mandy, The Colour Out of Space, Mom and Dad, Willy's Wonderland, and now this, Pig. Um, don't get me wrong, he's still <laughs> churning out the um, low-budget B-movies here and there, but unlike other actors, um, you always get the impression when you're watching Nicolas Cage that he's still got a respect for the art of acting, um, and I just love this film. I loved it. I thought it was brilliant to see Nicolas Cage just being able to act and just being able to express himself and show what talent this guy has got. Um, because it's easy to forget sometimes with actors just how good they are. This guy won an Oscar for a reason. He can bloody act. Um, and even though you don't get that manic, over-the-top Nicolas Cage performance here that some people relish. What you do get is quite the opposite end of the scale with him. You get a quiet, reserved, thoughtful, um, brooding Nicolas Cage here. And arguably this is the one of, if not the highlight of his career. I'm not sure I've seen him better than he has been in this film. Um, I love actors when you know when they've got a director that knows how to handle them, knows when to rein them in, when to let them loose, and when to just let them express themselves. And Michael um, Sarnowski here has as hit lightning in a bottle with this film and this performance by Nicolas Cage. It's wonderful. Honestly, if you want to see Nicolas Cage at his absolute best, you have to watch this film. It's... The film essentially, to me, felt like an intimate exploration of love and loss told from a very unique perspective. Um, you get the impression that he's going into the city to find his pig because he needs this pig for truffle hunting. But in actual fact, there, there are far more deeper rooted issues with this character. We learn much of his background in this film. We learnt... We learn that he was a very respected chef in the city at once upon a time. A very renowned and respected chef. Uh, his name is still remembered. Um, and he's still got connections in the city. And you see this character, of, you know, his story unfold before your eyes. And you see what a layered and complex character he actually is. And how brilliantly handled he this character is by Nicolas Cage. The film is odd at times, um, but never crosses the line in regards to unbelievability. You you really do understand this guy and this connection he has with this pig. And when you really learn about his past and his history and what he has actually lost, you understand his, the relationship he has with this pig and this real love and affection he has for this pig and, and, and why he can't afford to lose anything else because he's pretty much lost everything, uh, most of it through choice, granted. Um, and I have to really compliment as well Alex Wolf. He's not going to get the plaudits here. It'll be all Nicolas Cage that gets the plaudits for this film. Deservedly so. But Alex Wolf 
is in the background in this film and gives a flawless performance as this um the only person that really Nicolas Cage knows and knows uh, uh, to turn to when they all when this pig is kidnapped because this Alex Wolf's character Amir turns up once a week to collect the truffles so it's the only person he knows anymore Nicolas Cage it's the only person he has to go to um so it's a it, it's a strained relationship in, initially and you see their bond um and trust and friendship grow as the film develops um and again, it feels believable. Their characters feel believable. The connection they have feels believable. Um, I really liked it. I really liked this film. It's it's sometimes you could just watch a film and it, it, it you know it doesn't have to do all these over the top extravagant things. It could just have a really gentle, um, impactful story told really well and performed brilliantly by actors. And that's really what we get here with this film. Um, and I have to say, I was blown away by it for the most part um and it reminds you when you watch a film like this um why we love movies why we love actors why we love great performances and as great as it is to see the crazed over the top nicholas cage that we've seen many times over the years um it's brilliant to see this nicholas cage as well just being allowed to perform and act for us and show us what talent he really really has so i strongly recommend pig guys it's an odd film at times. There are some moments in the film where you're really scratching your head a little bit. Um, but ultimately, um, for me, I thought there was an awful lot going on under the surface of this film. Um, and it had a much deeper impact than maybe you might initially think before starting it. So I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. One of my favourite films of the year for sure. Definitely one to check out, guys, if you're a fan of Nicolas Cage or if you're just a fan of good filmmaking in general. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you like this review. I will be back with plenty more content on the channel very, very soon.